Hello Capricorns and welcome to Free Will Tarot 1111 and you have stepped into the portal. If this is your first time to um, coming to this channel, thank you for coming and uh, maybe you become a subscriber. And for those of you who are subscribers and those of you returning, thank you very much. Thank you for your comments. And um, this is um, a seasonal change type of reading. So we're going from, we've gone from um, summer into fall now. So we're going into the, um, a different season. So let's see what's going on in Capricorn's world as we move into the fall and winter months. Of course, I'll be doing more readings, but um, and I would ask that if you're if possible to try to stay as long as you can in um, in the reading, because the reading starts off may start off a little slow, but it does gradually, you know, come into fruition, whatever <laughs> the reading may be um, later on. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And um, here we go. So I was gravitated to this deck. And I feel like there's two cards in here for you, Capricorn. Two cards. Before I get into the tarot, these are oracle cards. So there's two cards in here. All right, we have one. Number 21. The following, the following, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm downloading and reading um, following the path of another your path is being redirected to where it should be that this looks like a, an eclipse we do have one more eclipse coming or super moon coming soon so your path is changing things are changing for you capricorn Let's see what else you have. Explore, love, create, number 44. And it says the only thing that holds you back is you. Only thing that holds you back is you, Capricorn. So both these cards I'm picking up are indicating that um, and I'm, many of you are already doing this, so this is a general reading. Um, it may, but some are not. So these cards are indicating to me to not follow someone else's lead. All right. And this is in a bigger realm of things, like in your purpose and, and what you want to do in your life. This is in, in a bigger realm. Because somewhere in here, someone, it, it, it feels like there, you may be standing in your own way if you follow another person's path or what they're doing or whatever it is they're doing. Maybe for some of you, you've been feeling like uh, maybe this, whatever the situation is, is not for me. And... Um, is kind of holding me back. But the universe is shifting your direction and hopefully shifting your perception to look at something um, differently at this time. All right, that's what I got from this energy so far. I'm gonna get right into the Taro now. Let's see where we go from here. I never know how long the readings may be, but I am conscious of the time. So I try not to be too long, but I like to give full, um, you know, full readings. All right, here we go. So let's begin for Capricorn. Show me. We have an eight of pentacles. Hmm. All right. I'm going to get all the cards out for this quadrant that I'm working on now. And then we'll go and I'll get more into the reading. We have a nine of cups. 
And we have a six of wands. Nice. So this energy here, because all these energies may not be connected together. Some of them may be more so someone may need to hear this part of it up here. But here we this is a this is now a different energy. OK, possibly we're going to keep going. So what I see here is that for you, Capricorn, you're working hard on something. You're mastering it. I get this card a lot for you, <laughs> actually, the eight of pentacles. Um, you're mastering something, you're working hard, you're, you're learning new ways to do things maybe, but also this is a card of doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. The same pattern. So look for patterns that may not be healthy for you, but also look for patterns or continue patterns that are healthy for you and that help you grow. In this energy, I'm seeing that you are mastering whatever it is or you're working hard to make, to, I feel, get something right, make it right. That's what I'm picking up here. Um, nine of Cups, Six of Wands, you have the wish card and then you have a victory and you're working hard on something. So whatever you're, because these are all minor arcana. So they're not um, these, you know, higher arcana cards or major arcanas. They're, they're minor arcana. So this is in the 3D world. Okay. This is a time also of gratitude and feeling good about yourself feeling good about how far you've come so far. Some of you've come pretty far. You've been working really hard on yourself and how you, you know, move through life. You have support of friends and, and, you know, people around you who actually support you and uplift you and help you move along. So be in a place of gratitude in a place of peace and balance as you meditate and contemplate your next move, your next dream. Because I feel here you're very close to reaching your goal, whatever that is. Very close to reaching your goal. Okay. That was a pretty e easy energy. <laughs> Nothing complicated so far, but I'm going to step into another deck and another quadrant and see where we go from there. Now, these are the these are all foundational cards. So this is one reading. OK, many of you and I feel like it's least many of you Capricorns. Um, are actually doing very well. I mean, I really see here that you have a, a, a fantastic victory and a wish comes true for you that you've already been manifesting and working on. This is what I like to see in a reading where someone's actually working on something. You know, they're not just sitting there waiting for it to come from the sky. Sure, we can manifest things with the magician. We can manifest things, right? But regardless, you still have to work on it in the 3D world. And that's what I see here. And it pays off for you, Capricorn. It pays off. All right? Do the work. You know what to do. All right, let's get into it. The next quadrant, this, re this quadrant may have nothing to do with this quadrant. So you, this is maybe another reading or it's connected to this reading. All right. Show me for Capricorn. Thank you. Now we have a six of pentacles. Beautiful. Let me get the other cards out for you. Whoa. All right. It's a lot going on. We have a ten of swords. What else? Okay. 
and the hang person. All right. So this is what I'm uh, picking up. For some of you, whatever you've been waiting on is coming through. It's been a tough journey, a tough battle to get through. Because with a ten of swords in here, a tough battle. And you've sacrificed yourself. You've given maybe more than you should have given. Maybe not, you know, just depends. But I'm kind of picking that up that maybe you've given more than what you should have. And now that's coming to an end. That cycle. It was mentally too much. Additionally, there you may some of you may be um, in deep anal analysis about a situation. Maybe almost too much. Too close to the um, problem. And maybe you need to change your perspective with the hang person in this energy. Change your perspective. Because what you've put out into the world is coming back. Okay? You've been waiting on more knowledge about something with the hang person here. It's the only major arcana so far. Uh, and... The hang person is an energy of um, absorbing knowledge um, an enlightenment, an awakening to shift your perception of a situation. And in this energy, I'm seeing that some of you um, are shifting your perception or it's being shifted because this cycle is closing now. But you've given what you can, all you can give and what you put out in the world is definitely coming back. And then you can move on because you can't stay in hang person too long. It's hang man, but I call it hang person. Um, you can't stay in that position for too long. I mean, eventually you have to get out of that and move on. You've got all the knowledge that you can get from a situation or at least enough for you to move on um, and close a cycle. All right. I'm going to get into your final uh, quadrant, which is the, these are only the higher arcanas. So I want to see what the big energy is saying overall. Okay, so we have a synchronicities of six here. Um, two sixes. Okay, these cards are really, <laughs> sorry. All right, let's see what happens. There we go. Temperance. Emperor. Oh, gave me four cards. Maybe that was the delay. All right. We have temperance, emperor, the sun, and the moon. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. What I'm picking up here is that alchemy is in your favor at this time. It doesn't, there isn't many um, obstacles I don't see unless you stand in your own way. Okay. In some instances in this energy, I am picking up that maybe um, underneath this energy that there is some Capricorns who have stood in their own way, blocked their own um, movement. Maybe into a place of confusion with the moon card in here. But I also am seeing that your but but your instincts or your intuition, you're getting you're receiving downloads. 
So pay attention very closely to what your spirit guides are trying to enlighten you about because you have the sun as well, a clarity and a happiness and optimism in this energy, strong. Because the in the moon card, the moon on the other side of the moon um, in the regular Rider Waite Smith deck is the sun. So whatever darkness or unclarity or uncertainty, I should say, um, that you may have felt, you're being guided on the right path. On the other side is where all where the where things become even more happy. I mean, happier for you. Sorry, um, emperor. So now you set your rules. You set boundaries. You're ready to construct and build. Whatever it is. Is it building um, your career? Okay, here the energy is. Is it building um, a relationship with someone? Well, here it is. So whatever you felt like was in the dark is coming to light, but it requires some patience and planning. Right? You need to plan as well. And whatever you... Like I said, whatever pieces that need to come together, I just I see them coming together in this energy. There is a flow here. You are stepping beyond um, blocks because in the sun uh, card and luckily in this one, there is a wall here. OK, that wall represents a block that you actually overcome. Things are about to be very good for you, happy. Be, stay optimistic, keep your vibrations high, okay? Your path is being redirected. Your path, which is in the moon card, as it says here, is being redirected. Just stay, be patient, take care of yourself, um, I just heard drink water, some of you. <laughs> I don't know what that came from. Um, yeah, take care of yourself. You have great support in this energy. As I zoom out of this reading, I'm seeing that you have so much support. You have cycles that should be closing now. You have a light on the other side of that. Just stick with your plan, stick work. You know, you have to kind of put your nose down and just work through it. Stay disciplined. Okay, remain disciplined. Because I feel like that's another portion of breaking through these walls and not standing in your own way. The moon will can put you in a place of standing in your own way. It is an inkling of fear that's in the moon card. Fear to move forward. Fear of, I don't know what's ahead of me. Should I take a risk? Should I not? Okay. You're going to break through those, any blocks that have been in your way. But you have to tap into the energy. You have to, now that I spoke it, and if you watch the video, you hear it that you understand that you um, have to put the energy into it, the work. Okay? Put the work into it like, you, like it shows here. Beautiful reading. I'm going to um, check in with... Uh, I'm not going to do any clarifications. I don't really see a reason to. Uh, and I never clarify the... Um, well, I shouldn't say never, but... I don't clarify the higher arcanas. I let them stand on their own. What the emperor is about, about setting boundaries. Um, you know, the emperor sets all the rules and laws in the, you know, um, in the land. Or that's not the word I want to use. Uh, it's another one. Sorry, but they, the, the emperor um, constructs all that, 
uh, rules and regulations and because the emperor is always building something. Okay. Building and constructing. Okay. And that's where this energy is, is for you. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. I'm going to pull one more. I'm going to do three cards. Oh, wow. Those came out very not weird and nice at the same time. All right. I pay attention to how the cards come out as well. Look at this one. This is stuck underneath. <laughs> wow. This first card out is doing uh, spiritual work. Doing some inner work can help you get clear before you move on. See? Clarity. The sun. You will... Get insight into what works, what work will best serve your needs. Hmm. Okay. So do the spiritual work. Look in, in, in your inner self. You're going to see where, where you're going. You're on the right path. Opportunity. Doors are opening up for you. You have the chance to change jobs, start a business, or invest in a new venture. Just do it. Okay, there you go again. These new opportunities. For some of you, you may not see it right now, but it's there. It's coming. You have to have faith in things, too. They just don't happen unless you have faith. And you do the work. Last card, drama. Dun, 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 dun. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace. The job you may, no, the job you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. Hmm. Drama alert. One more card. I'm going to pull your uh, angel card and then I'm going. Close the reading. Thank you, Capricorn. If you've la if you stay lasted, <laughs> if you've lasted this long, <laughs> I didn't even clarify this time. But the time is going very fast, so I don't want to keep you longer because you have work to do. All right, you got work to do over here. You have a victory. You have your manifestations and new opportunities, and stay spiritual in this energy and close out this cycle. That's what I said earlier. That's where the drama may be ending. Okay. Okay. What number does Capricorn need to see? Show me. Thank you. What number is it? 2323. That number may be significant for you. And it says endless cycles. Hmm. And I mentioned, well, I didn't mention cycles. I don't think. I think I mentioned patterns. But patterns are also cycles, okay, with the eight of um, pentacles here. And it says charisma, communication, society, movement, journey, repetitive, repetitive, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> repetitive, sorry, um, circumstances and patterns. There it is. See? Okay. And this is repetition, mastering something, trying to get it right or something's, you know, this isn't a good position, but I'm just saying that in some cases, um, doing the same pattern or the same thing over and over can be also unhealthy. Okay. And it says here, there's some truth you resist to accept. Okay. There's some truth you, you're resist to accept, resist. Okay. Sorry. Um, over and over again. Let me read that again. I'm a little bit dyslexic so sometimes. I, okay, sorry. Uh, let me read it one more time. There's some truth you resist to accept over and over again. Maybe it's the sentence that doesn't make sense. Until you're tired and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. So we have follows, 
We are following your path. Okay. Definitely, you know, time to end cycles. You have an ending of cycles over here. You have an ending of cycles and a new beginning of cycles here with the moon and sun. You're, you know, if you plan it out and you work, you know, with, and it, the temperance is a very spiritual work, work type of energy as well. So if you plan it out and you work with your spirit guides and you do your manifestations and you stay in a place of gratitude, Things are really moving in such a beautiful place for you, Capricorn. It, as we move into the fall and soon into your um, birthday season. Okay, so that is your reading. Thank you for coming to Free Will Tari 1111 and may light always follow you. Thanks, Capricorn. <laughs>